Hello friends, today we'll be learning how you can uh, create an authentication uh, using Next.js with app layout uh, structure and Superbase. So just to start, I'm not going to tell you how to create a Next.js app or a create a Superbase um, account because I know you already know that. So this is my basic setup. This is my basic uh, Next.js app. I haven't done anything here except creating this Superbase uh, config file where I have incorporated my Superbase URL and anon key. I'm sure you can find this much uh, anywhere in the Superbase documentation. It's pretty straightforward. And then I've created a page which is actually using just a simple H1 tag saying Next.js 13 plus Superbase app. So this is how our landing page looks like. Okay. For this uh, tutorial, I'll be using Tailwind CSS. Um, I have a Tailwind UI package, which I'm going to use for uh, different uh, pages. All right, so let's get started. So first thing first is, in order to do the uh, with uh, email magic link, what you have to do is you have to go to the Superbase docs and then uh, click on sign in user with OTP. Uh, in this particular video, we'll be just uh, looking at the uh, sign-in with the magic link. But later on, I'll be creating other videos for um, social logins and email password, as well as for uh, login with uh, OTP code sent to your mobile phone. Okay, so we'll do it step by step. Right. So first thing first, what we need is a login. Uh, sign up page. So on the index page, what we need to do is we have to search for sign in. I think it's here. And then we can pick up any one of these, whichever we want. I like this one. So I'm going to pick this one. Copy code. Go back to my um, page. Uh, let me create a new one. Do it here. And then I'm going to extract. Uh, okay, so it's asking that I have to have Tailwind fonts as plugins. So let me see if I have it already. If not, I'll go to my Tailwind config. Oh, I already have it, so I don't have to install it. But if you do, then just uh, put this require fonts here and then just uh, npm add or yan add Tailwind CSS fonts and then you should be good to go. So that's fine. I will now just copy so which part i need it i need just this block so i'm gonna go here and i think this is the one so i'm gonna copy this from here uh, and then i'm gonna go to my page put it here and let's see if i can see it on the front end there we go got it here let me remove all this password and, you know, Twitter and get to the thing because we don't need it. So we don't need the password bit. Uh, we don't need the remember bit. We need the sign in button, definitely, and we don't need this bit. Uh, not a member, we don't need that either. Okay, there you go. We got an email uh, field. Okay, so some for some reason, this uh, element on the top of uh, the box has a lot of uh, margin in the warning. So let me actually remove it and see if it works. There you go. There. So we don't need that. All right. Okay. So. Now we have to capture the email and then send a magic link. So what we will do is say 
go back here and then first of all let's capture the ebay it should be And then when we type on the emails here, should we need text and then set email of text.target dot equal you. And then just to see if it is working properly, let's uh, let's print it here for just to see if it's working. And let's go back here and then see. It's working perfect. Okay, that's fine. Let's remove it from there. And then on submit of this button, I do not want to submit the form so let me remove the form element here and uh, let me say it's button but on click what I want to do is trigger a function where it says sign in Okay, so that's the button. Let me find and we make make it a thing so that I do not have any issues later. Okay, perfect. Now as you remember I have created this super based client here, so we need to just uh, import it here. And I have added the ADS for um, imports. So that helps me keep track of all the imports in the app. It's easier. Okay, so once that done, oh, what happened here? I should have not, uh, uh, oh. I'll just do something like this. And it should be okay, perfect. Right, so I'm going to open the console and then see if I can also console sign in there you go and there you go it's working the click is working too now um, as per it says on the super base oh, uh, documentation website just have to call it like this and uh, because right now I do not have a domain I'll just put this and I'll say welcome just quickly create a welcome page and then inside the welcome I just Create a page, which is the new uh, structure for for Next.js app layout. So, welcome to the app. Perfect. So that's created now. So it should be working. So that's a look. Yeah, it's working. So 
we are here. So we're going to go and provide this email. So let me just replace this email with this email. And let's see if it does what. So refresh. Then it is throwing an error for the request, which is all right. Let's see what it responds. Okay, for secure, but you can only request this after 44 seconds. Sure, so once you receive the email, obviously you click on the uh, link here and then you reach to your uh, welcome page. Once you're on the welcome page, this is how the welcome page looks like. So let's uh, define a function to get user from the session. Okay, that's fine. And then let's got it on load. Okay, now here, what we have to do is either we have to get the session and then reach up the user or we'll just refresh the session and then reach up the user. So the easiest way to do it is just um, see if we have the data or the error for the session. And then based on that, we say await superbase dot r dot refresh session now what does this do is because we have the reference token with us refreshes the session and if it is available then you can literally just uh, say okay give me the session or give me the data or both And then based on, sorry, it's a user. And then based on that, you can just retry the data from uh, the session. Here you go. And then we can literally print, if we have the user email here. So let's go refresh. Let's see if it is working. Uh, Spine, spine. Ah, okay, got it. Maybe because the user in the context is the one which we set here. So that's why. So let's let it. No, yep, nothing. Okay. Uh, two. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can um, console it. And then it will show us the user in the console if possible. Nope, nothing here. Okay, maybe we'll try again to log in, yeah? So, sign in, perfect, and then go back, received an email, click here, we are in the app, there you go, got the email here, perfect. And I'm guessing we also have all the data for, for the object. Uh, of user here so it should be there you go you got the user object you got the email now once you click on the link and see you're landed on your uh, dashboard you will see inside your superbase uh, dashboard in the authentication section there's a user panel where you can see a user um, authenticated and the user id is here so if you have a question, let me know in the comments and uh, follow the channel because I'll be doing multiple more videos regarding how you can create an app with 
Next year's 13 with Apple out and Superbase. Cheers.